Hey comic fans, welcome back to Pages, Panels, and Pictures. Today, we have a new segment called Roach Boy's Comic Corner, where I, Roach Boy Red, will be diving into the comic origins and histories of various comic book characters, mostly to prepare the MCU fans for what's to come, and for that matter, what's already begun. My hopes are that you all learn some new information about these marvelous characters, and if you guys are anything like me, an undying love for not just the MCU, but the source material as well. On this special pilot episode, as per request, I'm going to be discussing the Scarlet Spider, Ben Riley. Ben Riley was introduced in The Amazing Spider-Man in the start of the Clone Saga back in the 1990s. He was created based off of the original Clone Saga from the 70s, in which after the death of Gwen Stacy, Miles Warren, better known as the Jackal, created clones of both her and Peter. The real Peter and the clone, later named Ben Riley, battle it out and then team up to defeat the Jackal, where Ben is seemingly killed in an explosion. Afterwards, Peter takes his body to an incinerator in order to protect his secret identity if someone were to find the corpse of the clone. It's then discovered that the clone of Peter Parker was in fact alive, going by the name Ben Riley, Ben for Uncle Ben, and Riley, which is Aunt May's maiden name. He's been wandering the streets for five or so years, doing heroic things whenever he could, but also getting tormented by the original failed clone, Kane Parker, and we can cover him in a separate video. Upon hearing that Peter's Aunt May was ill, Ben returned to check in on her, as he has all of the real Peter's memories, also giving him the emotional ties that came with them. After swearing off acting as Spider-Man to Peter, Ben witnesses a robbery, but while he hesitates to act as a hero, the police show up and arrest the guy. After this, Riley decided that he can't sit idly by when the streets need a hero, actually citing the phrase, with great power must also come great responsibility. Riley eventually suits up in a new costume, and after hearing about the altercation on the radio, goes to stop the raging symbiote, Venom himself. After an injury from Venom, though, Ben realizes he needs to do something besides feeling sorry for himself, and manages to thwart the symbiote for the time being. Ken Ellis, a reporter I believe worked for the Daily Bugle at the time, then releases a news article telling the tale of the heroic deeds of the Scarlet Spider. Scarlet Spider continues to live and fight crime around New York City, but always feels like he can't ever step out of the original Spider-Man's shadow, even being mocked by certain villains at the time. But... After the Jackal returns and the two Spider-Men defeat him, Peter decides it's time for him to leave the city and start his family with MJ, and confidently does so by leaving Ben Riley the mantle of Spider-Man. He gets his own version of the Spider-Man costume, which many people may have seen, but probably remember it from either Spider-Carnage, most notable in the 90s Spider-Man animated series, or Mayday Parker, Peter and MJ's daughter from the M2 universe. After some time of Ben carrying the Spider-Man title and living a very Peter Parker lifestyle, the real Peter returns to find out that Norman Osborn has been pulling certain strings all along, first tricking Peter into believing that he was in fact a clone and Ben was the real Spider-Man. Norman then poisons MJ, causing her to lose her and Peter's baby. Ben saves Peter from being attacked by the Goblin Glider, but is impaled, dying. Once dead, his body starts to break down and decompose, finally proving that Peter was, in fact, the real Spider-Man. Now, Ben Riley makes various small-scale appearances in different media over the years, most notably the Spider-Verse comic series, but he actually receives a formal reintroduction in 2015, where it's revealed that the Jackal is alive, and he's actually been cloning Ben repeatedly, forcing him to retain the memories of his previous clone's anguish in order to drive him to madness. But that is a story for another day. Scarlet Spider has always been one of my favorite members of the Spider family, and his costume always stood out to me amongst the rest, with the cool hoodie and the no webs on the red jumpsuit. It always looked so different and amazing. No pun intended. But this was a perfect way for this segment to start. And word on the street is that we may even see him in Across the Spider-Verse, so that would be absolutely incredible. But, with that being said, in the upcoming weeks here in the Comic Corner, we're going to be discussing characters like Moon Knight, She-Hawk, and even Echo. 
But also later this week, there will be an episode all about America Chavez, slated to appear in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. I hope you enjoyed your time here in the comic corner. If so, like the video, subscribe, and turn on that bell to get notified when another episode is released. I've been your host, Roach Boy Red. This has been Pages, Panels, and Pictures. As always, be easy and keep reading comics.